Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And receive, wait a minute, after you give thanks, just in an act of belief, receive a kingdom. Now let me explain that just a little bit. Receiving a kingdom means giving yourself to God's agenda with no conditions attached. If there's anything you have to check with before you say yes to Oh, I'm raising my voice. I'm sorry. If there's anything you have to check with before saying yes to God, you've got an idol in your life. If there's anything you won't do because God hasn't promised you how it's going to come out, you've just got a little self-worship going. When you say, your kingdom come, you're saying, my kingdom go. You're saying, bring it on. I love that part of the song, coming after me. He's coming after you. You're here today, he's lost. You're lost. You, you don't even believe there's one to believe. You, you believe, if you believe in him, that he's mishandled affairs and is really not sovereign. Well, he... he He's here anyway. He's coming after you anyway. There's not a mountain he won't pull down and not any lie he won't tear down and not any wall he won't break through because he's coming after you. So it likely will not come before you give him thanks. Be grateful and receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken. And by the way, Keep on receiving. It's not an event. It is a lifestyle. You achieve by saying every day. That model prayer is to be prayed every day. Give us this day our daily bread. You, you pray that for, not for a week and don't get fed. You're going to have a problem. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive. Hey, seek the kingdom daily, all the time, continuously, residually, steadily, increasingly, with passion seeking the kingdom and listening to the king. 